Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. This week, I'm telling you again some of the ways my dogs have preached to me over the years. Now, I'm serious about that. More often than I can admit, I see my dogs and what they do, and it reminds me of my relationship with God, sometimes in more ways than one. Today's story comes from August of 2019. Chance was grumpy. Normally, he's a wonderful dog, very pleasant and agreeable. But every now and then, he seems to get in a dark mood. He becomes mean to Angel, our other dog, driving her off our deck or being possessive of bones in the yard or trying to prevent her from getting to her food bowl. We don't know what he says to her in dog speak, but clearly Angel is intimidated and keeps her distance from him whenever this happens. What's clear is that he is out of sorts and something isn't right. This last time when it happened, we noticed something, however. His grumpiness seemed to coincide with a time when I was extremely busy and therefore not home to pay him much attention. Since dogs exist in a patriarchal pack mentality, and since I am the alpha wolf of our pack, in his mind, I know Nan is really in charge. But we suspected that a lack of contact with me was the source of his problem. We thought perhaps he needed to touch base with me, to know again that I loved him, to assure him that he belonged and to put his world in order and to establish his place in it again. And sure enough, I soon found time to go out and be with him. And sure enough, suddenly his moodiness was over and gone. He was the chance we knew and loved again. Angel was restored and happiness reigned over our yard. Sometimes I think we're a bit like that. Like chance, sometimes for us things just seem out of sorts for no real reason that we can find. We find ourselves in a bad mood or caught in a dark mood. We might be grumpy with others, lashing out and mean for no real reason at all. I suspect we've all been there. It's not a good place to be. Maybe in those times, chance shows us the way. Maybe in those times, like chance needed to spend time with me, we need to spend time with God. Maybe in those times, we need to pray. Perhaps what we need is time with God, an opportunity to reestablish our place and that we are loved and belong. And time is prayer, time in prayer Time not spent asking for things, but simply being with God somehow restores us and puts things right again. Our world is reordered. We know our place in the scheme of things. And suddenly our relationships that had taken dark turns are renewed and made right. The meanness and grumpiness is gone. We know who we are, whose we are, and we feel at peace once again. Prayer does that. Prayer doesn't have to be just asking for things. In fact, the best prayers may not ask for anything at all. Rather, prayer can be time spent with God, walking through your day again with God, sharing what happened, opening yourself to new ways of seeing the day and what happened. Prayer can be a time of opening yourself up to God and growing in who and how God wants you to be. You can discern new possibilities. You can discover more about who God is. You can discover a lot more about who you are. Prayer is the source of healing our broken relationships and finding the path to peace together. We need that contact with God. Like chance, spending time with me, when we spend time with God, our world is put in order again. And here's the thing. God is eager to spend time with us. 
I was too busy to spend time with chance, but God is never too busy to spend time with, time with us, never too busy for time with us. In fact, that's why God made us. We exist to be in relationship with God and each other. So when you are having one of those days, maybe what you need is some time with God. Maybe what you need is some time in prayer. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.